had replaced the legendary PPK in 007's arsenal. This is the Volta P99 by Umarix. The P99 is a 9mm semi-automatic pistol developed by the Car Volta Arms Company, which is owned by the German firm Umarix. Both the P99 and the Volta PPK have become famous as a service pistol issued to the fictional British spy, James Bond. Umarex, like Cybergun, chose plastic blister packaging, which makes the gun look a lot like a toy. The packaging may work for Walmart, but it's a bit of a turnoff for the collector. The gun comes with a magazine, instruction manual, and sample BBs, but no CO2 cartridge. At first glance, the Amarex P99 seems like a good replica, with a realistically textured polymer low receiver, full Walter treads on the grip, lower frame, and butt plate. But the trades and markings on the slide lack the fine detail of the lower receiver. The mock serial number found on the right hand side of the slide is a nice touch, but an obnoxious printed safety warning mars the slide, and the right hand slide lock is a fake molded into the receiver. The made in Taiwan stamp and the BB gun type safety switch above the trigger leads me to believe that this pistol is actually manufactured by Wind Gun. The DAO is a dual action only variant, so it has a long trigger pull of a non blowback. In this replica, the slide moves, but plays no role in loading of the BB in the chamber. The slide is metal, but it feels thin, and it sounds hollow when racked. It is a good blowback kick, but makes a dissatisfying plinking sound when fired. Like the real steel, the mag release is nicely molded into the trigger guard. The magazine holds 15 rounds, and has nice trades on the base plate. It looks similar, but is not interchangeable with Wind Gun's 1911 and M9 non-blowback pistols. The real steel P99 has a removable back strap on the grip to customize the fit for the user. This replica hides the CO2 cartridge under the back strap. Because of its long trigger pull and lack of built-in hop-up from 35 feet firing from a bench rest position, it turned in a lackluster 8 to 9 inch grouping on the target. While the packaging claims 380 FPS, our gun chronoed in at just a little over 300 with 0.20 gram BBs at 80 degrees Fahrenheit. On the positive side, that means this CO2 powered gun is usable in most indoor CQB fields. The Omar XP99 is a step up from a non-blowback, but it's a mixed bag. At first glance it looks great, but when you get up close some of the details disappoint. But if you want 007's gun and plan to use it exclusively for CQB, then at $60, the P99 may be a good choice for you.